In this session, I'm going to talk about the secure NAT auto map feature in F5. So if you observe the auto map feature, you will see that here I'm in the virtual server right now. So you have to go to the virtual server list. And here you will see there's an option of the auto map, right? There is an option of the source address translation. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about this auto map option. So I will tell you that what basically it is and how this is different from the default that is none. So by default, this is none, but sometimes there's a requirement of an auto map. Why we do that and what's the consequences of not doing that? One. So before that, I want to let you know that we have already discussed about the Critical sessions of the NAT that what are the NATs and why basically we need it and what are the different types of NAT. So let's proceed further. Let's talk about the very first that the by default what is happening in any of the F5. Okay. So if I go to the diagram, what I have right away, right? So I'll just simple tell you the theoretical part of that. If you have any device which is basically sending a traffic to any of the F5, so this is your F5 device, and from the internet, like I will do like this from the internet, anyone sending traffic to the F5, right? That's what it happens. And in your organization, you could be having the different servers which will be serving the actual request to the F5. So if I take this as a server two, this is as a server three. All of them are usually connected to the F5 as a backend node, and everyone is serving a request to the F5 virtual IP. This is a normal scenario, and you usually configured a default gateway in all of them okay whenever i was doing the lab what i did basically that default gateway on these servers was pointing towards the f5 that was an f5 self ip okay that's what i was doing but whenever there is a requirement and by default the default gateway either this is not configured or this is wrong not wrong means basically that it is pointing to some other router so there is, could be a certain scenarios whenever there could be a router and by default your server traffic is pointing towards the router rather than the f5 so this is like default behavior and after that one like any reachability to the any application any of the database server or to any other application how your connectivity you have you do not have the via the f5 this is for the internet users they will go to the f5 and from f5 they will go to the backend server but direct connectivity like within your organization you do not have to go to the f5 those servers are for the configuration perspective you have the reachability from any of the internal user or application how basically they will configure those servers directly via this router so that's why the default gateway on this servers are configured for of the ip address of this router okay so that's what it is so what the problem is happening in this case whenever you are sending any traffic right any uh, user in the internet it is sending a request to any of this f5 that could be let's suppose having an ip address of 100.1.1.1 okay this is a virtual ip then what it will do it will translate it will do the nat and send the traffic to the server one that's how it does what it happens it will instantly change the it will do the dnat the destination net it means the destination ip address will change from the 100.1.1.1 to the ip address of the server for example let's say if this is the ip address of 192.168.1.10 i think in my scenario it is 172 so let's take that let me just verify and then i will uh, take it okay hold on 
so in our scenario we are having the backend yeah 172.16.1.10 so let's take the same example it will be easy for you to correlate okay so let's say we have the scenario of let me erase this yeah now it is going to be 172.16.1.10 okay so what will happen it will change the destination ip address change from 100.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 to 172.16.1.10 so what's happening now that actual request will go to the server one okay and if the destination ip address changing from 172.16.1.20 then it will be going towards the server two that's how basically the f5 does and it sends the request to each of the server by doing the destination end. and whenever the reply is coming reply is going default ip address right so you have to configure the default ip address like in our scenarios whatever we whatever labs we have done default gateway is configured of the f5 so traffic is coming to the f5 but now whenever you have the configuration of this yellow one like the default gateway is configured as the ip address on this router interface so what happens now now the reply like request is coming from here it is going to the f5 and from f5 it is going to the server one that's the forward traffic but the reverse traffic will be going from server one to the router and then from the router if the connectivity is there it is going back to the internet obviously like this connectivity would be there possibility if not obviously it is not reaching back to the destination so either it will not be reaching back or anyhow if you have the connectivity you will be getting the reply directly from the server not from the 100.1.1.1 so what is happening from pers from perspective of this user who is uh, like internet user he says that i send request to 100.1.1 but i am getting the reply from the 172.16.1.10 like i i never requested to that any traffic from the 172.16.10 what would happen it will discard that traffic it will not accept that obviously i uh, never <laughs> accept uninvited guest right i will block my door i will close my door for the uninvited guest i will never accept that traffic so this is basically called as the asymmetric routing this is called an asymmetric writing routing this is the problem of the uh, whenever you have the either you have not configured the default gateway or you have configured the wrong default gateway in both the cases it will not be working perfect so the solution whenever like when we will use this automap feature so in this case basically we use our snat automap feature so we use this automap snat automap feature only in the case whenever your default gateway is wrong or you have any other router where your default gateway is pointing off the server if it is not the case then you don't need in your automap feature okay let's do that so it's time to go for the lab i'm sure that you are positive about the theory whatever we just discussed not the theory i will say that's a concept okay so right now we have this uh, f5 big ip and for the simplicity i have just enabled only one server not all of them okay so if i go to the pools only one member is up that is the node 2 right now just for the simplicity and uh, what is happening the default gateway it is pointing towards the this basically 172.16.1.1 okay so let's suppose i go to this server and if i configure the wrong gateway okay so if i configure the ip address 172.16.1 don't think it's not configured it is already configured but it's not showing here okay you see like this 172.16.1.20 this is broadcast this is not the actual okay let's let's say this one okay but before that let me show you the command prompt 
So if here, if I check the IP address here in the IP config, you will see that that's the IP address configured. Right, it's 170.16.1.20. That's the mask. And I think default gateway, you cannot see it here. But let me configure it right now. This 254. Okay, so earlier it was configured as 1.1. 1 .1. You have to trust me. So <laughs> that was configured. But now let me just apply with this 170.16.1.254. It means basically I am doing wrong. Right now, you see that it is up from the upper, uh, this uh, FI perspective. It is up and reporting fine, right? If and also let me switch on these devices. But now if I change the uh, server IP address, the default gateway basically I'm doing the wrong or changing it. If I apply and, and exit now, obviously nothing going to change here. It's always same, under 20. Let's see what's happening on the F5. All right, so let me just, uh, it's not changing the status. So no worries, I'll, let me show you the packet capture of the interfaces, which is at the source side, that is like user, which is on the internet, as well as at the destination side. So I will capture here at the one interface, like you can right click here. Okay, let me do like this. Okay, so right click and you see that there's option of the capture, right? So I captured at the E0 interface. Here there's an E0 interface. Same way, I will try to capture here at the destination server. And then we will see that what is happening basically of the packet that what is the source IP, what is the destination IP and to which it is giving the response. So that's like important and that can show you the exact picture that what's going to happen. If I capture it here at the laptop side, at this stage, the packet capture is coming like this, right? So I show you that how you can uh, do the packet capture, okay, and save it. So if you see here how the communication is getting started. So basically, if you see the source IP, the source IP is here 20.20.20.10. Oh, my pen is not working. Oh, I think it's on the white color. <laughs> I'll change the color to something else. Let's say the red color. Okay. So if I, oh, it's not working. Yeah, so the source is 20.20.20.10 20 20 20 and the destination is 100.1.1.1, okay? And if you see the reply, the reply is coming from 100.1.1.1 and 20.20.10, 20 20 correct? So now if I uh, see the packet capture of the server side, so, so from here perspective, let me come back to that our diagram once again. So if you are here at 20.20.10 at the laptop side, the this will be the source IP and the destination IP will be 100.1.1.1. And the reply also I am getting from the same IP. I'm hitting here and reply I'm getting here back from here, so only from here. What is happening on the back end? this guy this left hand side is not aware what is happening on the right side okay let's look at the right side at the server end that what is the packet capture that we are getting okay so if i go back and see the server side this is what is happening at the server side okay so if you see the packet is getting started like source is 172.16.1.1 and that is sending traffic to 172.16.1.20 right so which what is that that is basically here packet starting 172.16.1.1 and going to 20 like this is the communication happening here at the 
backend so the user which is had the internet side you can say this is internet side who is as an internet user he is not aware that actually that f5 is sending the request to the server and server is actually serving the request as per the user here at the internet he is sending a package to a virtual ip 100.1.1 and 100.1.1.1 that is giving a reply right that for that's what we saw in the source side packet capture this one right 20.20.10 and that's what it is happening 20.20.10 is sending packet and getting reply from 100.1.1 every communication is happening between this source and that destination actual server ip is not we are aware of in that case this is the case what i am telling you right now this is happening in case of auto map enabled okay like we have enabled the auto map and then we have done the packet capture but in case auto map is not enabled then you will see that that actually your actual ip 20.10 will be going to the server here server will know that what is the actual source okay like reply back is coming then it will reply directly to this one if it is the like your default route is not pointing to this ip and that's what it is going to discard the reply because it requested to the 100.1.1 and someone else is replying someone else's actual server is getting reply either the packet will be dropping here somewhere because of the routing or you do not have the path to that one anyhow if it is reaching then this client or laptop will discard that packet because he says that why unnecessarily i'm getting a response from this which i have not requested so it is going to discard that one so that's the problem it is happening in some cases whenever your default route on that server is configured to somewhere else rather than the interface of the self ip of f5 load balancer all right so i'm pretty sure you're clear about it if you have any question feel free to write in the comment section or send an email to me i'll be really happy to help you out in this scenario